Okay, so. Uh, I think it's a little camp, but. Da, da, da. Yeah, we don't talk to Snow. Are you the person we rescued? Good to see you again. Glad to see you're not the only one left alive looking to barter a bit. Sure, let's see what you have. So, this is what she has short sword, crude short bow, some arrows. You have lock picks. I got ten of them, it looks like. Oh, we can steal. <laughs> we can steal stuff. Trying to steal thieves' tools from the merchant. Thievery 4. Difficulty 8. So only have to roll a 4 or better. Oh, look. Got a 4. Stole the Suspicion increased by 1. Nice. Anyway, Gimpy. Go back to buying stuff. <laughs> Save us some money. Because these are... Oh, they're only 3 gold. Gimpy's buying them for 2, though. Because Gimpy's a diplomat. And yes, we need them all. We don't need another lantern, though, because that's what that is. What are these? Noble's Gloves. Vendor wants 35 GP for these. But they don't do anything. Why would you want these? Why would you want Noble's Gloves? Uh, healing potions. Crab for making baked crab. That's what gold you have. After cap. Fishing hooks. What do we need fishing hooks for? Hunting arrows. Can we buy? We have to buy them one at a time. Oh, buy would have been nice here. 29 poor arrows. Hey, Beacon, welcome back. Happy Saturday. I would have been nice here. Are we full? No, oh, this wasn't clicking hard enough. Um, let's see. Fifteen gold for these. It's easier to hit the two button. Laughter cap. Use for a lesser tune. Okay, so that's fine. So we're on 219 stuff. Melee, light blade, piercing. Accuracy plus zero. Damage is one to six. Crit is two to four. She's better with her dagger. Damage is better than the dagger, but accuracy is better and the crit's better. That's okay. Okay, Kimpy, we need to sell stuff. Like, go. Oh, he's gonna pay zero for that. I don't care, we don't need it. Do we? This is taking up weight. Traveler's Scar, five gold. Bought rough for an hour and one well suited for travel and adventuring. If you uh, can learn to live with the itching, you'll pay us two gold. Jade necklace. That can be sold for a few coins. Vendor will pay you 11 gold for this. Sure. Keep those. I don't think we need two shovels. Keep extra lanterns just in case. Casper's uh, journal. We don't. Uh, I don't think we need that anymore. We already know how to make the baked crab. Right? Do I? Smuggler's journal, I don't need that. Guild seal, we save that for reasons later on. Cracked wine jug. Sell that. Glass bead is a trinket, sometimes used by islanders, locals to create jewelry, or fool children. He 
make that glass be maybe for a little bit. Mug, we don't need mug. We don't need plate. Dice, worn dice. So that. Glass bottle, don't need that. Yarn. Spun from the shag of the sturdy blah blah blah. That run the hills. Spender will pay you. It's a trinket. Regent. See, I'm not sure how much value the trinkets have. I'm guessing they're just to be sold. Yeah, I don't think there's any real reason for this. Okay, so up to 245. So I kind of messed up. I should have got that uh, mercenary before doing this. Okay, so the crude club. Don't need that. Crude war axe. Don't need this. Fine war axe will probably keep. The hand axe, we don't need. The arrows we definitely want. Now this breastplate, the next person that we meet that needs armor, I like how it's worth 300, it only gave 100 for it. We're still short 35 gold. These ropes, they're worth two each. Just sell the armor. That's worth 63. Yeah, we'll sell this. Now we have a 300. So. Okay, so now we can hire a mercenary. Do you wish to move to hire this missionary? Mercenary for 300 gold. Mercenary is a blank character that you get to create from scratch and add to your party. So, yes. So what are we going to do? Taco needs to have this important question answered. Hey, Veronica. Who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. Vukrols is too much of a troublemaker to be cool, but I guess being a troublemaker is kind of cool in a twisted sort of way. Where's Vukrols when you need him? Anyway, do we have any volunteers to be this uh, little additional party member we need? And what are we going to make them? Champion is a cleric who excels in use of blades and armor while still having limited divine spellcasting abilities. Main attribute of this class is presence. Hierophant. So this is the cleric who can develop all the different divine spell schools fully. This comes at the cost of having absolutely no combat-related feats. Hospitaler. Hospitaler is a cleric who serves as a front-line healer. Well armed and armored, they can stand their ground against the world foes while also getting access to the highest tiers of the body's magic school. And the main attribute for this class is presence. So higher fan or hospitaler. Sorry, hero fan. Taka, you want to be him, huh? You know you're going to be a cleric, right? up and used to buy ranks and feats. This unlocks new abilities for the character. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, so you don't. Points per level is four, three. Points per level, sorry. Magic per level is three. Hmm. Inky. We need somebody who can not totally depend on mana to still fight, because that's the big thing with Gimpy is he runs out of mana, he can't really do much. So we'll do Hospitaler. So an Acolyte, plus five to attunement, that's mana. Curtier, awareness, diplomacy, stealth, and theory, carrying bonus, 
crafting and diplomacy, diplomacy and lore, athletics and crafting, athletics and vitality, initiative and thievery, club damage bonus, a vagabond, crafting and survival, and stealth and survival. Always ready to dispense holy wisdom, be it the pearl gospel, the profane ramblings of the heretic. So attunement is magical energy and determines how many spells can be cast. Attunement reveals uh, fully when the character rests. You can't note that different classes use different root abilities for attunement. Is a gilder. He's got crafting and diplomacy. Athletics and crafting. Athletics and vitality. There's no shortage, so this is more health. Let's do the cell sword. So we'll take athletics and vitality, so a little bit tougher. Okay, so presence is your main thing, so we want that to be at least a three. We're gonna be a fighter, so we want that two and four to two. Three points. Agility, so you dodge better or just more presence? Read and react to the surrounding environment, people, awareness, diplomacy, healing, and willpower. Chat and they should arrange it to dodge. My feelings is too much spread out, but I think the three plus should be good enough, or the three should be good enough. Okay, so skills. So we know was the athletics. The other one? Where's the other main skill? Oh, it was uh, athletics bonus and a vitality bonus. There's that one. Focus on the healing, huh? Healing is used in camp to increase the rate of wound recovery from wounded characters. It also influences the amount of vitality gained from healing potions and is used in dialogue tests when dealing with medical issues and such. So, you should probably be good at that. And athletics. More healing? Yeah, yeah more healing. Okay, these are the feats that are uh, derived from your class. So, we've got uh, Religious Training, Divine Spellcasting, and Cleric Weapons. So, we've got seven points to spend currently. It's going to be more because he's going to be going up to level five, I think, at the start. I think that's how that works. So, Shield Training at level one. Phalanx. Phalanx is, when wielding a shield, get a dodge bonus for adjacent allies. Bonus is plus one per ally up to a maximum of the phalanx bonus. Attribute value typical two. Club ac club accuracy. So blood weapons, right? That divine spell casting, you get the ability to learn spells from the mind, body, and spirit school. Body, mind, spirit, mage. So, bear strength, aura of fear, and blessing touch. Blessing touch is they are blessed. It's plus one to dodge, melee to hit, range to hit, toughness, and willpower. Wind magic, aura of fear. So, all opponents in the aura target area become fearful and disrupted. And 
bear strength, which is target an ally adjacent to the caster and oops, that's not what we wanted. Stop that. Bear strength is fortified strength plus two to strength. Lasts until the end of combat. Let's grab this too. Religious training. Imperial litany. Targets the character themselves. Adds condition fortified will. Most conditions fearful and panicked. So pick that up. And resilient resilience initiate. So increased vitality, increased will, increased toughness, and increased healing, attunement, and aura bonus. Aura radius bonus. Oh, so you're just a little paladin, is really what you are. Body magic focus. Learn two new spells in the body magic school. Turn spells from mind magic and spirit magic. I thought there was supposed to be this one specifically body magic. Looks like it's not. I like the idea of the aura of fear. Oh, you get all. You can just take tier one of all these and get all these spells. That's how that works, isn't it? Continue. So, male portrait. Um, he will make him look like a good old-fashioned goody-goody paladin sort of type. Hairstyle. Oh, we have to see that on the little icon. That one. Facial hair. He doesn't have facial hair. I think that's not facial hair. It's hard to tell. All the little dots. Close enough. Hair color. Again, blondie. Skin cone. That's good. Main color. So this is the color of his little outfit. So what color should the outfit be? All white? Two? Two looks like white. Color 14. Maybe not all white. Yeah, it's a little over the top. So, five isn't too bad. Not quite so white. Yeah, maybe about that. As far as uh, his cloak and stuff. Yeah, white cloak. We'll go with the white cloak at least. Okay, so that. And oops, Tasco. Ronky. Oh, we can't do backspace. Oops. We have a problem. Um shoot. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna need the backspace. But now I can't do backspace. Oh there it is. It's working. Okay. So taco. Taco logo. There we go. Now I guess I'll level up a couple more times. So that'll be his feet. It's a level five. I'll go right up to level five. So we've got uh, 12 points to spend here. Okay, so. Defend the ally. Club accuracy. Let's probably work on that. Let's get defend ally up there, though. Club accuracy, club damage, stunning blow. Like that. So another phalanx, more shield training, shield rush. For spells. I'm sorry we didn't go this one, yeah. 
Oh, we have to get up to rank three, though, in order to get more spells. Uh, religious training. Uh, increased vitality. Increased healing. So vitality. I'm already down to one point. That was fast. He's going through all kinds of points here. That was because of this. Oh. We're going to see his abilities so far. So athletics, vitality, activate spell casting. Passive ability allows a character to begin studying schools of spell casting. Shield use. So he doesn't actually have any spells yet, or does he? Yeah, he's got no spells yet. Okay then. So we do want to get him some magic. So that's probably what we should focus on. Spirit Magic Focus. Spirit Magic School. The value of this uh, attribute in the spell tier. It's, doesn't really tell us what that is, though. So wind magic. So he's gonna learn two new spells from that. It's tier one stuff. Probably supposed to be body magic focus, but apparently they don't care. Let's see what kind of spells he gets first. Think about that. Give him some accuracy. And club damage. Okay. So that's spells. Uh, we have Blessing Touch, Mark of Heroism, Hammer of Light, and Holy Light, and Touch of Condemnation. So Blessing Touch, that's blessed. Heroism. Heroic Inspiration. So plus two to melee damage, last until the end of combat. Hammer of Light deals 48 plus magical aptitude damage, blunt magical sublime. So basically, throw an, a hammer, a hammer of light at somebody. Target any opponent adjacent. So maybe not throw it, just smack them. It's kind of expensive for one swing like that. The Holy Light targets any opponent or ally adjacent to the caster. As conditions illuminated and inspired, removes considered conditions uh, of attack invisible. So, illuminated, so glowy light. That's the Leon of Combat. Inspired. That's the end of the turn. Plus two to hit, ranged or melee. Touch of Condemnation. So, enemies. Condemned. So, reduce their dodge, toughness, and willpower. So basically, it lasts until they die. Prefers lighter weapons over heavier ones. Well, he's kind of like a paladin type, Jeff. So that's what it is. Um, blessing. Here was a hammer of light, holy light. Touch. We'll go. Blessing. Until the end of combat. So dodge, melee to hit, toughness, willpower. Here was Until the end of combat, it's more damage. That one and that one. Got more. Two more spells. So aura of fear, clear senses, fortified awareness, fortified will, still courage, sublime projection. So we definitely want aura of fear, clear senses, fortify awareness. 
So plus four to awareness until the end of combat. Not sure how that's gonna help us, but still courage. Oops. So it moves fearful and panic, inspired. Plus the bonus to hit. The blind projection targets any opponent and deals damage to them. Not a lot. Kind of expensive for two to four damage. senses. Clarity of mind. Plus two to intellect and presence until the end of combat. I wonder how that's supposed to work. A buff for like Gimpy or something. I'm not sure how that would help him though. Let's do instill, instill courage in case we run into some fearful stuff. And then body magic. Bear strength, cure moderate poison, minor lay on hands, and serpent's grace. So, minor lay on hands. Target ally. Conditions bleeding and heals five to ten. Cost is only three, so that's a pretty good deal. Fairly good expensive, so definitely can take that. Bear strength, cure moderate poison. Target any ally, adjacent to the caster, moderate poison and weak poison. And serpent's grace. Fortified agility. So plus two agility until the end of combat. And one. Red strength plus two to strength until the end of combat. We'll take the poison. Mobile. Okay, so there's a little paladin. What kind of gear does he have? He's got squat four gear. So some mercenary you are. <laughs> he doesn't even have any gear. Good thing we have this for him to wear. We don't have a weapon for him. He's got a dagger. Ugh. Sold that club too. Ugh. So no weapon. Twenty-eight gold left. It's sad. Looks like you're gonna be using a weapon or a dagger. Because that's all we got. Oh, he can't even use a dagger. Never mind. Um, problem. You can hold the lantern. Check your tunic to go with his ranger's outfit. Oh, we were screwed. Um, stuff. Wow. Okay. Um, see what you have. He's got the weapons, we sold him. He was 131 for the axe, we sold him. But can he use the... He can't use the axe anyway. You can use the club. Hey, it's better than nothing. It's a club. And then the noble's gloves. I don't understand what these guys are good for. They don't soak anything. They're not encumbered. I don't know what they're for. Okay, then. This has got a club. Okay. <laughs> so impressive. Club. So this is a new character, Taco Loco, a mercenary hired. And his main job, well, he's kind of a paladin. He's a hospitaler, actually. Which is a paladin type, basically. And so his job is to do melee and heal when needed. See how good it does. As far as his vitality at 34. So he's got the second highest vitality. We should probably camp while we're here. Okay, so I'm gonna rest up. 
Now I guess what Teen's gonna do. What's he good at? A plus two to survival for the forage thing. Entertain. 6x adds the motivated condition to all party members. Hey, I can't see what motivated is. Forage. It looks like he's going to be our entertainer. Okay, so training, fletching, foraging, entertaining, and food. I'm oh, sorry, we have more food. There are people in the party now, so we're going to go through more food. There we go. Okay, begin a rest. So, more XP, 48. Watched an arrow, got an extra ration, and failed at entertaining us. I think that's what it said. It's a foggy night. Okay, so back to adventuring at nighttime. We haven't gone through everywhere here, have we? I'm sure at nighttime's totally safe. Yes, we did go through everything here. Yeah, we did. Okay, off we go. So the little house over to the southwest, that's where we started from. A little road. It's like a cave up there, doesn't it? Where do we end up? The winding coastal road const constricts the steep cliffs pressing from the north. A dense fog reduces visibility to a mere stone's throw, and you feel an uneasiness rise in your stomach. And how's it going to go well? Then, as in response to your concern, a bizarre monstrous growl echoes through the cliffs ahead of you. Frozen mid-step, you scan the mists, mists when the unmistaken stench of rotting flesh is wafted towards you. Something large and deadly lies ahead. Of course it does. Roland places his hand on the hilt of his weapon as he scowls into the mist. Keep your wits about you. I fear we may have our work cut out for us. What do you recommend? I say we forge ahead, but let's keep our wits about us. I'm inclined to agree with the big man. Uh, Kat adds as she looks around nervously. Let's go. You swallow hard as you ponder the dangers that may lay ahead. So difficulty one. Uh, Rorda is a dangerous place uh, where you can quickly end up facing very dangerous beings. Sometimes the best tactic is to leave a fight for la later as you level up and gather more equipment and allies. Remember that you can change the difficulty of the game at any time. You can even create your own custom difficulty. That's nice. But what actually just occurred to me while I was reading that is we have an extra shield that she doesn't really need. Gives a bonus to her stealth, but it's not a big deal. We're going to give the shield to him because he's supposed to be good with shields, right? Vitality, spell casting, shield training plus one shield use, so there we go. Phalanx, when we don't need shield, you get a dodge bonus for adjacent allies, bonus plus one per ally, up to a maximum to the Phalanx bonus, which is currently one, typically two, so. So we definitely want him to have the shield. So dangerous monster ahead, but we have no idea how difficult it is. So there's only one way to find out. Carefully pick your way forward when movement on the top of the cliffs catches your eyes. Robed in 
The hooded figures emerge as they appear to be dragging something towards the edge of the cliff. More of the rabbit dog spits Roland. To your horror, you realize that the party is dragging a naked man and woman. Bound in Diag, they are straggling desperately as they are mercilessly pushed towards the edge of the cliff. No, whispers Cat, almost too loud. We have to do something. Look around. One of the cultists shouts and points towards the surf and elation. Utter terror fills the eyes of the moribund couple. You follow their gaze and turn to see, emerging from the surf, a creature of sheer horror. Larger than any sea creature you've fought so far, a hulking shape greedily waddles toward the base of the cliffs, pincers snapping and tentacles squirming greedily. Dangerous and furs difficult, it does. Continue. Before you can react further, the cultist hurled the two naked forms from the cliffs. The pair impact the ground below with a sickening splat, and with surprising speed, the hulking beast falls upon their brains. That's nice. That's a nice little picture. Standing transfixed, uh, you watch as, and as the horror consumes the remains of the unfortunate uh, wretches. Sickening snaps and wet pops fill the air as the creature feeds. All the while, the rogue cultists stand swaying and chanting on the ledge above. So brave they are. I'm going to take a cue from Sir Robin. I don't know yet. Attack with terror. Stealth. Carefully attempt to sneak away. <laughs> Diplomacy. Sink to your knees and join the worship. <laughs> Uh, um, those 16s, those are pretty difficult, so we might as well just attack. There's our little scrunchy thing. 113 vitality, 34 wounds, it's a lot of health. It's gonna hurt. Plus 15 to hit, damage is 190. Yeah, we're gonna get smacked. Getting smacked hard here, I think. So, Mr. Uh, Paladin, you go there. Actually, no, you go right next to him. Cat, go down there. You be stand behind them. All set. So, at least he's uh, middle of the queue, at least. Three? Three what? Soak of what was the soaking damage? Zero to nine. Of course, he got a nine on that one. Hey, Rose, welcome back. Happy Saturday. So you can summon a magmite to help uh, kill the thing. It's gonna eat up a lot of my mana though. Twenty-five. We have no potions. You forget how many chests you had. What in volume? You need more. You never have enough. Blurring, Ash. Ash is going straight back. This is where full mana. And. Ouch. Poor cat. Oh, what's his ability? Imperial Litany. I don't know what that does. Magic. So, Blessing Touch, Mark of Heroism, or of Fear, Still Courage, Lay on Hands, Water of Poison. Mark of Heroism, Broke Inspiration, oops. Do the Aura of Fear. Wall full and so much wood, you need to do something about it. Build a bigger house. Get hit with a club. I was kind of hoping she's going to be able to sneak around there, but I guess not. More magic missiles. He's just going to pump magic missiles into this thing all day until he runs out of mana. Ouch. Come on, you pansy. 
get back in there and fight. Good. What does this say? Hostile status rate. I wonder if we can fear up. Aura of fear. Look anywhere. Fearful is disrupted. So, he is fear. So he's got a penalty on all this stuff, so yay, fear aura. Except for that blunt damage thing. Slashing damage. Little pokey pokey from behind. Backstab, there we go. 14 normal chest of wood. <laughs> Build a bigger house. And you can always stack it, like Jeff said. Or you can make lots of charcoal, too. I think you... I was watching your stream a little bit earlier. Haha, I'm a professional lurker. Um, I don't think you're quite ready for charcoal yet, are you? Keep in mind, I didn't see any forges, so that's why I'm saying that. But you could have them. I just didn't see any for where you were. Keep be More magic. Skating. Ouch. Got uh, Blessing touch and still courage. Minor lay on hands on yourself. Nice heal. Hitable hit, so he's hurting. It's gotta be hurting. Down to 15 vitality. Then we got a little outgo. I only have room to stack it, but you're going to build another outpost so you can use the wood there as well. There you go. And as always, you can always, when you stack it, you don't need it. Well, you can put it anywhere. <laughs> you can you can make little stacks of, uh, of resources anywhere you want. You don't need a whole lot of room for them. It doesn't have to be protected because nothing's really going to take it from you. Pokey pokey. Another backstab, so that's working. So he's got an injured leg, he's panicked, so this is going fairly well so far. I have to jinx myself or anything. He needs a better club though. Pokey, there we go. So that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. And kite. Of course, I'd eat up a lot of our magic and stuff. Can he do? He can't do spells. So, still courage, lay on hands, moderate poison. So, heal her. Ta da. Yeah, we probably should have went with the, with the Hospitaler as our main character, just saying. The Guarded Heart. Guarded heart is a beautifully crafted golden ring with a heart carved into it. The wearer of this ring will find their resolve striking. Plus one to will. Or will. Will is willpower. Describes the character's ability to withstand mind affecting conditions such as those caused by spells. So we got two, three, two, one. Hmm. Don't need any coins if you got 7,000 seconds. Yo, don't worry, you'll need more. <laughs> you think you have a lot, you'll need more. So, who wants to wear the ring? Brainy here? It's on plus one to Will. That'll help him, because, you know, he's not the bestest there. For power two. I know you've been playing longer. That's why I'm telling you you're going to need more. And if you need more storage for your gold, just stack it on your bed. You'll feel like Scrooge McDuck. It'll make you feel better about yourself. You're at 1,500 plus days. That's a little bit of time. I My current playthrough is only, what, 200 and something days, I think. 
So your your playthrough is longer, but you just, you haven't got as far as us, right? Or like a dragon, either or. Yeah, I think more Scrooge McDuck sounds better. I want to go kill those uh, troublemakers up there. Push those poor people off the cliff. Jerks you are. Oh, we can't get up there? Well, that's wrong. Aw. Get up there. I wanted to kill them. Fire war. I mean, can't do that. See any enemies? I see three enemies up there. That sucks. I wanted to kill them. Let me go see if that's our cave cave. Oh, it's this in front of us, little town. For you, the unmistak the unmistakable mess, squalor, and desperation of a refugee camp sprawls around a small farmstead like a festering wound. Definitely enter that. Hey guys, how's it going? Soldier dressed in uh, the ragged remains of what you assume is the livery of Horan. He looks hungry, shaken, and on edge. Talk to the Chamberlain over in the barn. Barn, if you want something, just leave me alone. Entering the ragged camp, you notice a small crowd nearby, arranged in an inward-looking ring. In the center stands a formidable armored woman. She carries the unmistakable air of authority and the insignia of her armor marks her as a cleric of the Order of Sepulchrites. That's an interesting one. Anywho, you lurk. You don't want to lurk. Just couldn't find the iron and haven't explored the other swamps. I uh, wonky wanted to build a castle, which uh, didn't go quite as planned. He couldn't make it as large as he wanted. That took up a lot of days. Eh, that happens. A tattered band of refugees surrounding her are agitated and shouting over one another. But there are so few of us. Oren was home to 200 and we're but a few score left, cries a ragged man with tears in his eyes. By the golden corpses. There must be survivors, beseeches another. And who are we to send? Half of us won't live through the next ma uh, market day, and the other half ain't fit to hold so as much as a stick. An old crone interjects, panic quivering in her voice. The crowd erupts in a cacophony of desperate appeals. The cleric raises her arms, and the crowd falls silent. Her sonorous voice rings out. We may indeed be cursed, but uh, Aldon is right. There may yet be survivors in Horan, and it's my duty to go there, go to their aid, or at least to learn the fate that befell them. The assembly erupts again, some blessing the cleric in tears of hope, others clinging to her robes while pleading with her to not risk her life. Through the cloud, crowd, the woman catches sight of you and nods curtly. She turns away and begins to load up on supplies, no doubt intent on making good on her promise to the panicked refugees. Crazy person. Woof. All those people lost. Uh, my insides hurt. What happened to us? Or whatever. I'm so hungry. Please help us. What's happening to us? You're rotting. Feels like the world's ending. I'm so unhappy. I'm so hungry. I look children to talk to and abuse. The children is ragged and muddy and crying in great big sobs. As you approach, she wipes her nose and looks up at you, her eyes widening somewhat at the sight of Roland. Hmm, I prefer we just got on with our work, Roland grunts. What's wrong? I can't find uh, Frogger. I just had him and I was playing and now he's gone and all alone somewhere. Frogger, her pet. Who's Frogger? Frogger, uh, small and green and fluffy, and he's my best friend, and now I've lost him. The girl looks truly heartbroken. I'll have a look. Hurry, he doesn't like to be alone. He's afraid of the hounds. Hogger. I'm still looking. The imposing cleric holds up a palm and greeting. Welcome to our new home, stranger. The people of this island know me as Drina. 
I serve the Golden Dead in this camp. These people are under my protection. What brings you here? I was heading to Horan. I'm searching for someone. A terror from the deep claimed our ship. I'm searching for someone. Here on Idra, uh, that may prove to be a difficult task, given the tempest that's engulfed this island. How so? She leans back, her eyes still flinty. Are you not aware of the situation here? These people say the island is so surely doomed. Her, her eyes bore into you, gauging your reaction. What has happened? And what say you? I couldn't care less for your troubles. What has happened? Our graveyards have been overflowing as of late, with stranger killing stranger if, for no good reason, and worse. I think, brother and brother, husband and wife, it became a tide of ruin. I implored the governor to intervene and investigate, but as usual, he did nothing but cower in his villa and peer over his walls. The governor? A drunken buffoon, in my estimation. He did not deserve to die, however. I don't think he made it out of Horan. Marcus, his chamberlain, did, however. I suppose he's the closest uh, we're to... Closest we're to a leader. He's the closest... We're to, we're, we are to a leader at the moment, though he may wish it were not so. That word feels awkward. I see what happened next. Uh, then, a few nights ago, pandemonium erupted. Bands of armed men and women roamed the town, hacking down anyone they came across. Some folks claimed those that did not die on the spot were dragged away to suffer some unknown fate. My order and I joined what, uh, what sane gordsmen joined what sane guardsmen remained in the chaos and tried to stem the tide, but we were driven from the city in the panicked exit that followed. We considered uh, retaking the town, but we had scores of wounded, so we retreated. Better to save the lives not yet lost. We set up this camp to regroup and to care for the wounded, but a shadow hangs over us. The wounded do not recover, and those still on their feet slowly lose their minds or hearts. What do you intend to do now? We need answers. Uh, Trina gestures at the refugees languishing in the camp before continuing. And it's my duty to seek them out, if they exist. I must venture to find a way back into Horan and then somewhere darker, I fear. Failing that, the situation here in camp is getting untenable. Anything that can be done to improve it will be a small victory. Uh, are you planning to go alone? Why not wait for reinforcements? I care not. Are you planning to go alone? If I must, doomed or not, it's all dust in the end, and I intend to die in armor. But, from what I can tell, we must both tread the same terrible path. Though our reasons may differ, surely there is safety to be had in numbers. Indeed, let's join forces. Excellent. Trina's face lights uh, for an instant. Uh, these people, my people, I feel their pain, and we will mourn together. Later, uh, for now, they deserve answers, and by the Emperor's bones, I will get them some. I have some questions. Dun, dun, dun. Embla. She fidgets with a heavy-looking ring on her finger while she listens to your description of Embla. She's certainly not in the camp, and I can't say I remember seeing her in Horan, but perhaps that bodes well for your quest. How so? One of the primary tasks of my order is to care for the dead, and I can say with certainty that I didn't lay to rest anyone matching her description before the fall of Horan. Do you have any suggestions where to look? Beyond traveling to Horan, you may want to ask around here in camp. A few of the merchants survived. Perhaps uh, she visited one during her stay. I see. I had some other questions. Uh, what do you think attacking Horan? The Reavers came from inside the town. I recognize some of them as sailors, fishermen, and whalers. Locals mostly from old Idrin families. Perhaps they belong to one of the lodge lodges. What lodges? Yes, there are long traditions on Idra for the fishermen and sailors to band together in fellowships known as lodges. From what I understand, they serve mainly as combines for a fair distribution of the day's catch, but there are persistent rumors of them uh, serving their other purposes too. Rumors? Our order is an imperial one. The locals would be loath to discuss such things with us, but I've always suspected they practice pre-imperial customs of ocean worship, including offerings to ensure safe travel and bountiful catches. I see. Okay, time to go. Before we leave, we should seek out Marcus, uh, our leader of sorts. He's holed up in the stable trying Hello, to... Hello, It is time to take a break. Trying to organize this go mess of a cramp. Dogs. This break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. If you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, please visit gimpyne.com slash support or type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. Your next break is in one hour.
Yeah. Okay. So, holy ashes. No one tries harder than him. But the task at hand is monumental, and he needs help. Okay. So, good place to stop. Take a break. Get up, stretch my legs. Go check on Rocket, and Mrs. Gimpy, and we'll continue on when we get back. So, and also level up uh, our newest uh, person here in the party, Drina. So, anyway, be back shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.